Yo, it's a lion's war, and the stakes are high. Lord Shadow steps up, he's ready to fly. Questions in the air, they start to rain. Can Lord clear his lane without any strain? How many deaths will Lord give out this war? He gotta maintain. Find the best counter for the fender. Lord Shadow skill, he's the ultimate contender. Maps laid out, it's a treacherous path. But Lord's got the skills, he's done the math. Checking the nodes, planning the attack. He's moving forward, there's no turning back. Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. So, it is season 52. And this is war number 10. And we're going up against an alliance called Architects of Infinity. Ooh. All right, let's see. Who did y'all ban? Don't like y'all. Don't like y'all at all. Why y'all keep banning my girl? Why y'all keep banning her? All right, anyway. That's cool. We got other options. Let's see what they got planned for us. Okay. Oh, really? So Red Skull and Warlock, that's Corvus all day, every day. And then we've got, uh-huh. Um, I don't remember. Can he be armor broken? I think he's, I think he might be immune to armor break. So um, Gladiator could do that. I know for sure. Uh, we'll see. We'll see. And Terax. Uh, Claire can handle him, and she might be able to handle, I don't know if she can handle the um, Colossus on this node because of the um, armor ups. She will get rid of them, but let me see, the node, I think they were immune, aren't they? Yeah, see, that's a trap. Armor break, they're immune to nullify, fate seal, and stagger. But Gladiator can shut it down. And also, um, trying to think. Gladiator can shut it down. And I think because he's immune to armor break, I think um, Corvus is probably not going to be a good one. Let's see, immune. Uh, yeah, see? If he's not fighting a tech champion, he's immune to armor break and armor shatter. So that's not a fight for um, Corvus. That would have been a trap for Corvus. Um, ooh, that would have been ugly. So Gladiator. Um, I don't know if Gladiator can handle this one, but Gladiator for that fight. Um, probably... Uh, Claire and Corvus. All right. Uh, he hasn't uh, put up a war plan yet, so I'm not sure. Let me see. Yeah. He has not put up a war plan yet. So that's what I'm thinking of going in with. Let's see what he says. All right. Let's get on with the fighting. All right. We going in with Gladiator, Corvus, and Sandman. Let me tell you. This is a power team right here. Sandman is a beast. And I'm still learning how best to use him. But more on that later. So first up, we've got Colossus. Now, as I mentioned earlier, this was actually a very good placement for Colossus. Because you're not going to be able to nullify or stagger his armor ups. So unless you come in here with someone who is immune to the power drain or can keep him from getting the armor ups like Gladiator can with his vigilance, you're probably gonna have a rough time. So it's all about picking the right counter for the encounter. So as you can see, he doesn't have any armor ups because of my personal vigilance. I went ahead and used uh, an advanced power boost, which is my favorite to use uh, for Gladiator in this kind of situation, because I don't want him firing his, uh, or getting his uh, armor ups. Now, I fired my special two to get a longer vigilance to make sure he doesn't get any armor ups, because he's immune 
to uh, the incinerate on the uh, special two, but he never uh, stood a chance against Gladiator. <sighs> now, my Gladiator is still, um, I think, 148 SIG. And we're going to get some SIG stones from the Summer of Suffering. And pretty much every SIG stone that I have goes into Gladiator until he is SIG 200. All right. Now, this one was interesting. I was assigned, um, I think, Absorbing Man or Wiccan for this fight. And I was like, no, no, no. I want to bring in Gladiator uh, instead of Absorbing Man or Wiccan. And so... Um, our war planner asked me, well, who are you going to use against uh, that Terax? And I'm like, Corvus. You don't usually think of Corvus uh, fighting him, but look at this. See, I used to have to fight Terax before there was um, any of those other good counters. You know, yes, Absorbing Man is a perfect counter, but I like Corvus because you can just play around the rock field. And that allowed me to bring in Gladiator to take on that uh, Colossus. Because I don't know if Absorbing Man or Wiccan could have handled that Colossus on that node. That's the thing that I was really worried about. Um, I don't know them extremely well uh, you guys can leave a comment. Let me know, does Wiccan or Absorbing Man have a way to remove the armor-ups? That's not a stagger or a null. Uh, nullify. Um, I know that uh, Wiccan, he uh, has what? The neutralize? Does that work for uh, that particular node? Also, um, and I have to look this up, but Wiccan... Is he immune to the power burn and all that good stuff? Because if not, then yeah, I wanted to go in safe with Gladiator. So now we've got Warlock. And Corvus is just going to chew Warlock up. Um, Warlock does have an indefinite armor up, but I just keep armor breaking him. So I never have to worry about it. You know, I'm not going to hit him right here. I'm going to parry get that armor break and uh just keep going now i notice here i'm like oh no i'm not gonna be able to get to my special two so bam we'll just go with a special one got him down I, that's the one thing that i do dislike about fighting with warlock not only does he drain my power so that you know it's very unlikely unless i'm um very lucky or i do some uh a lot of heavy attacks or um maybe an advanced uh power start you know uh do the advanced power boost usually i can't reach my special two without some kind of a boost help okay um i could get hit and that would help you know um heavy attacks get you more uh power i believe uh than regular hits so that could also work the other thing that I don't like about Warlock is that D-Gen. When he's awakened, because I run willpower. And so if I'm trying to heal while he has that um, the spores on me and I'm heal blocked, I'm going to be D-Genning. Very annoying. But Corvus takes him down quick. Speaking of taking somebody down quick, Red Skull, who I just got, he is a great option for this um, particular node. He just can't stand against uh, Corvus. That's all. And all those armor ups become armor breaks. Now, right here, um, I think, did I do it? No, I don't think I did it here. Um, that might be in the, uh, in the next video. So we just got him down uh, really quickly. Usually, if I have another fight that I'm going to be doing with Corvus um, and I have um, Proxima Midnight, which I don't hear, then if I face Red Skull and I don't have that one charge that you get for 
um, knocking them down after an evade or an auto block, then I'll do that. Now, this fight. I looked at it and I did a, a test run against, uh, you know, practice fight against uh, Wong. And I was pretty confident in my strategy as far as getting him knocked down when he gets those Eldritch charges up. Okay, that was the thing that I was the most worried about because in the past that wrecked me and I didn't know why. Okay, so you see there, um, it's at 11 right now. Just went up to 16, 19, 22, okay? See, it's going. Um, now it's at 31. You have to wait until he has, what, like 90 or something like that? And then you knock him down and you'll remove those charges, okay? So you'll get a warning when his uh, Eldritch charges are coming up. Now, on this node, you see all that regen, but here, I kind of messed up a little bit, okay? You'll notice that um, my special one is putting a lot of petrifies on him, okay? Great, that's what you wanna do, okay? So here, you know, we're doing some more petrifies. Look at his health. This is a beautiful strategy, all right? Now you see the Eldritch charge went up, and then all of a sudden he went unstoppable. And I was like, oh no, all right? So here, I knocked him down, but he was going unstoppable and I was confused by all this unstoppables. And I'm like, oh boy, what's going on? Look at this, look at his health. Now he regen. He got me completely out my game because what I should have done was stick to the plan. But instead, I let the petrifies drop off. And you see, he healed right on, almost back up. Fortunately, he took me down before he, you know, fully healed. So I'm sitting here kicking myself because that was completely my fault. I, I didn't know what, let me see, who was that? They're quiet all the time. It's Oda doing a, an at all um but anyway uh i was i was really really um upset with myself just had to keep the petrifies he would have basically destroyed himself with the all the regen all i needed to do was to play slow and steady and just spam my special ones. Don't try to do nothing crazy or fancy. But I started to change my my tactic and I wanted to try to get him down, go to a special two and you know do the heavy spam that I've learned to do with Sandman. That's not needed in this fight. So that's what I mentioned earlier when I said that I need to practice more because you don't always want to do that heavy spam rotation, you know, his normal rotation. So now watch this. This is what I should have done the first time. Okay? You know, um, Sandman is also an attacker tactic, you know, um, secateur or whatever. And so he'll put that heal block, the more debuffs. So all I needed to do here, was spam the special one, watch the Eldritch charges, knock him down when he gets too many charges. So you can see here, all I'm doing now is special one spam. See, Eldritch uh, charges are growing. So now, bam, he wasn't quite all the way up there. All right, now, you see, I, I got it down. No more charges and I'm back to the spam. You know, just, that's it. That's all I needed to do here. Okay. So all that, you know, regen and whatever, bait out special ones. Don't need to deal with that. Now see the unstoppable there. 
but I was ready for it this time. And then he did that, but that's okay. Boom, 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 done. Easy. If I had done that the first time, I would not have given up um, a death. All right, but anyway, that is gonna do it for my participation in this war. We'll be back in a moment and you will find out just how this war ended. And we're back, and unfortunately we lost this war. Um, we lost it pretty bad, pretty, pretty bad. Look at that uh, attack bonus. They, they spanked us good, okay? Um, there's no way around that. Uh, shout out to our MVPs. Um, I don't know if it's because we're coming to the end of the season and we're pretty much locked into Platinum 3, but we do have a chance, a very slim one, of getting into Platinum 2. We might sneak into it, um, but I think everybody is kind of already checked out and their brains are in the uh, off season already. But anyway, that is going to do it, guys, for this video. Take care. Hit the like button if you enjoyed the video. Leave a comment. Let me know what you thought about this video. And you all have a blessed day. Arena and chill grind, that's how we roll. No stress, no drama, just on patrol. In the fight, he swift. His tactics be tight. Those shadows in the arena ready to ignite. From the streets to the screen, his skills be renowned. In the world of Marvel, Lord, the King Crown.